In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called using osmotic pressure to find molar mass. As the name of this problem implies, we're going to be doing an osmotic pressure calculation. So let's just start by writing the equation down for osmotic pressure. It is pi equals I MRT. Pi is the osmotic pressure. I is the Van't Hoff factor. M is the molarity, not molality. R is the ideal gas constant and T is the temperature in units of Kelvin. So let's see what information we have in this problem. And we have a small amount of an unknown protein dissolved in solvent. So the protein is our solute. Because it's telling us we have a protein, it's not giving us a molecular formula to, to look at. Whenever we're being given just a name of a solute, not a molecular formula, we can always make the assumption that I equals one, that it's a non-electrolyte. If this was an electrolyte, they would have to give us the molecular formula so that we could see how many cations and anions we had to calculate I. So our mass of this unknown protein is 174 milligrams dissolved in solvent to make five milliliters of solution. The osmotic pressure is 0 0.0445 atm, so that's our pi. Um, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which we need to convert into Kelvin. 25 plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. Let's calculate the molar mass. We'll see what information we have. We know pi, we know I, we know R because it's a constant, and we know the temperature. So we have enough information to calculate molarity. That might not seem like uh, it makes sense for us to be calculating molarity, but let's just go with it. We'll figure everything out in the end. The molarity is going to be pi divided by I R T. So what I've done there is just taken the osmotic pressure equation and I've rearranged it to isolate the M variable. The osmotic pressure is 0 0.0445 atmospheres. The value of I is 1. R, the ideal gas constant, is 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres over moles Kelvin and the temperature is 298 Kelvin. Um, when we look at our units here, our atmosphere units are gonna cancel. The Kelvin unit is gonna be canceling. We're gonna be left with one over liters over moles. And let's go ahead and see what this works out to be. 0 0.0445 divided by 0 0.08206 and divided by 298. 0 0.00182. This is, um, oh, I kind of jumped ahead there. So the units of this are one over liters over moles, which is the same thing as moles over liters. Just doing a little algebra there. Moles over liters is the same thing as molarity. Now, this problem is not asking us to calculate molarity. We've already decided that. We're not really sure what we're going to do with this information, um, but we're going to go with it. The problem is asking us to calculate the molar mass. Molar mass is calculated by taking the grams and dividing it by the moles. We know how many grams we have. We just need to figure out how many moles we have. And then we have enough information to calculate the molar mass. Um, the problem has given us a molarity and it's also given us a volume of the solution five milliliters, which is the same thing as 0 0.005 liters. So if we do this multiplication right here, it's actually gonna tell us how many moles we have. Not a lot, 9.099 times 10 to the minus six moles. So to calculate the molar mass of the protein, we're gonna take that mass in milligrams, we're gonna convert it to grams, 0.174 grams, we're going to divide it by the number of moles that we just calculated, 9.099 times 10 to the minus 6, and that's going to give us a molecular weight. Really big number, 19123 grams per mole. Um, it says to three significant figures, so let me modify that, 1.91 times 10 to the 4 grams per mole. It's a huge number, but proteins have a really large molecular weight, so it makes sense to me.